All right, welcome to day three. Um, as you can see behind me, we brought this thing to life, which is cool. Andre will tell you more about that in a minute. Um, this morning started off pretty slow. Uh, took a bit of a drive into town, sent some orders out. Thanks for the support. You can pick up more gear off my website, engineerslide.com. Um, yeah, it was good, good day. Did some welding, made up a new uh, brake switch mount, which worked out pretty cool. Um, a lot better than the old one, so that's good moving forward. Um, yeah, had a chat to Andre about the switches for the smart wire. We worked out the, uh, the order that we want them in and what we want each one to do. So that was good to learn about that system. Um, yeah, it was a good day, a lot of progress, a lot of work. Um, we're hopefully going to have a bit of an earlier night tonight and um, yeah, wake up brand new tomorrow. So last night was a pretty late night, I think uh, I finished up around about 1am. I was on a bit of a roll with some of the chassis wiring and I really wanted to get that finished before I hit the sack. So got that all done, got up this morning and it was still cold. Now while some lesser uh, wire installers would probably just rock a hoodie, I was pretty keen on keeping the t-shirt on so um, as you can see we've got the heater cranked and that's keeping us going. So finished up the chassis loom today. Uh, one of the important parts of the wiring is making the wiring loom work the way Nigel wanted. So the front and rear clips on the Hilux are really easy to detach and we wanted to make sure that the wiring looms could detach with those clips. So the headlight indicator and radiator fan looms all disconnect from the body with one plug, as do the rear tail lights and indicators. So that makes it really easy at an event for Nigel to basically disassemble the ute if he sees fit. From there we finished the install of the Racepack Smartwire power distribution module and that, that's a pretty cool uh, module, really, really powerful. So I terminated that and then got stuck into actually setting it up in the software. Uh, the smart wire is a power distribution module which basically does away with all of the relays and fuses that you get in a conventional car. It really neatens up the wiring, makes it a lot simpler, much, much easier to fault find because through the smart wire software we can actually see live uh, what each circuit is doing, how much voltage there is, how much current the circuit is drawing and if any of the fuses are blown. So that was really cool. Uh, it's really configurable so you can set up each circuit to do exactly what you want. So you can see in the background we've got the headlights and indicators flashing. We can do that off a switch. We can have them come on conventionally. We've got a lot of control there, so it's, um, it's really, really powerful. Um, after that, uh, we had a bit of a clean up and um, ready basically tomorrow to get stuck into the engine harness, which is you know, the, the fun part. I really wanted to get the chassis wiring all 100% complete uh, before I got into the engine loom. So once we've got the engine loom done, then we'll actually be able to start this um, truck up and get it running. <laughs> <laughs> 